So we've just finished shooting on set with the gorgeous Megan Gal and Ray, you did a beautiful job with the makeup. And of course, Lina was a really strong part of this look. We've seen a lot of that on the international runways. Can you tell me a little bit about the trend this season? Well, it's not that really hard like Amy Winehouse eyeliner. It's a very sexy, sophisticated, even a little yeah. bit creative, you know, yeah. liners on the top, on the bottom. Of course, Megan had a beautiful winged look. How can you do that at home? The best way to do it is look straight ahead in the mirror at home, put a little dot where the highest part of your eyelid is, where it peaks, put a little tiny mm -hmm. dot. Really simple trick. From that dot inwards, keep the eyeliner as close to the lash line as possible. And from that dot out, you extend the eyeliner. And what makes this brush awesome, you can see how thin you can get the lines, like tiny little strokes. Super thin, Yeah, right? yeah. Like but if pin. you angle it, you can make it thicker yeah. too. Yeah, another little trick is, do the little ticks first. And what's so great about this brush, if you use it flat, you get that beautiful, thick Audrey Hepburn eyeliner. It's all about the liner, but how did you prepare the eyelid beforehand? I really want her eyelids to shine, so it's really simple. Just put a wash of gold eyeshadow on the eyelids. And then to define the eyes even a little bit more, I took some endless chocolate. It's a it's a creamy eyeshadow, and I just smudged it all the way underneath her eye. This is amazing. Wow. I know. I'm always on this quest to find the perfect mascara. mascara. Well, there you go. <laughs> Megan's lashes were incredible. Insane. How did you do that? I know people think mascaras are mascaras. They're not. This mascara is incredible. It's called Volume Millions Excess. It's got the biggest one I've ever seen. It's huge. The trick with the great mascara, extra prongs and has to be really black. So you get every lash from the roots to the end. And just get them right in that inner eye. When I talk to women and I've applied their mascara, I can see they tend to miss the inner corners, but you've got like a hundred little lashes in there. Top only will give you more of a winged effect. Top and bottom will open your eyes up a little bit more.